Hello, hello. Ho, ho, ho. Bunch of hoes. Merry Christmas and that. Today, as you can probably see by Mark's garb, and uh, I came somewhat unprepared. I haven't got a hat. I haven't even got a hat. I don't know what I did with it. Under Mark's... here is a reincarnation of Jimmy Savile. Would you like to sit on my knee and talk about the first thing that pops up? The first thing that pops up? We know what yeah. that was. Yeah. Uh, I, what do you, I would fish I'm, I'm, I would I'm making my own jokes up. What, what would a what would a prostitute say uh, to uh, to uh, celebrate Christmas? What do you think Santa Claus says? Ho ho ho! No, yo ho ho yo! Oh yo! Yo ho yo! <laughs> <laughs> really, I couldn't tell. Yeah, could you? Hey, it's funny. Yeah. He has a little. He has a little. Uh, obviously, you've been saying that where Christmas episodes have been doing well. I was doing mm. a little bit of work with um, with George and Mike uh, Mark today. Now, George said to me as we were working together today. He said, "I know for a fact that you're rich, Mark." And I said, "How's that?" And he said, "Well, me and my wife were in bed the other day, just having a cup of tea as we do in the morning, and my wife starts giggling." And I said, all oh, right. And they said she was giggling at the fact that you have the audacity to admit that you have cr two Christmas trees in your house now, Mark. He's, <laughs> Connor's mum was listening to the episode. <laughs> he says, so I know you're rich. You've got two Christmas trees. <laughs> uh, it's Carol. out. The yeah, it's out. out. A damn blast. Aye. Uh, yeah, so I think you know today we've got we've got some uh, hopefully a few a few jokes to line up that'll take us uh, you know take us about half an hour to get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had thought about um, covering some Christmas editions of shows, but I think the only one I'm that bothered about these days is Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Do you ever watch it? That's a bloody New Year thing. That's not Christmas. It is, man. Or the yeah. Uh, or the well, no. There's usually two. There's there's the big fat quiz of um, there's usually two. There's one due in Christmas and one in the New Year. Yeah. But I also watch the the Royal Institute's Christmas lectures. You know, and they have they teach kids something about I don't know physics, biology, or chemistry or, or what have you and it's usually three episodes on BBC I watch them every year I'm watching that just doing the, all the yeah. daft experiments and and what now I've got it on reminder this time so I can watch it but I look forward to that every year um, oh did you did you see I think I texted you this the other day that um one of our one of our subscribers followers on uh, on YouTube submitted their own list of movies for Christmas with Die Hard at the top from 1988 Elf as number two 2003 How the Grinch Stole Christmas but the 1966 version mm. It's a Wonderful Life from 1946 yeah. uh, National Lampoons from 89 Rare exports, which I'd never heard of, but it looks like it might be a bit of a laugh. It's a, uh, I'm not sure what made it. So I thought oh, I might have to get my hands on it. So I'm gonna, have, I've got that one to check out. Scrooge from 1988, and a movie uh, I'd not included, but I've seen on many Christmas lists was uh, a Violent Night. Yeah, movie. Now, I nearly put uh, Bad Santa on there. Have you seen it? Uh, it doesn't ring Without... a bell. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a guy who who dresses up as Santa, but he ends up getting drunk and also it, it's yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. Like, although it was interesting, mm. interesting that people have been dropping their own their own stuff on there and. 
then of course I sent you that weightlifting joke, didn't I? Yeah. About the women's seventy-one kilogram snatch world world weightlifting. I said, having a snatch that heavy is going to make lifting the bar a lot harder. <laughs> I sat and burst out laughing when I saw that pop up in my YouTube suggestions because I've been watching lots of weird sports. Like, I just thought it'd be funny to watch some of these axe throwing competitions and log chopping competitions. And this popped up: women's seventy-one kilogram snatch. I thought, "Ooh, that's heavy." <laughs> that's a strong gusset. Mm. I do have some cracker jokes. Good. Let's you start off then. What do frogs wear on their feet? Uh, Open-toed sandals. What's that got to do with Christmas? These are huh? these are just things that have been in crackers. Oh right, yeah. So, Open-toed sandals. That was all right. Made me chuckle. Yeah. Candy's uh, the frog. What does Santa spend his wages on? Uh. No money. Jingle bills, jingle bills. That's it. Eh. Uh, your what, turn. What do you, you got? What do you call a uh, what? What do you call a Christmas movie about oral sex? <laughs> Miracle on 69th Street. Did you make that one up? No. <laughs> <laughs> 69th Street. Yes. Uh, what do you call a snowman with a six pack? Ooh. Yes, you got it, haven't you? Oh, nah, what? Abdominal snowman. Abdominal. Oh, I saw <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. Abdominal snowman. What do you uh, what do you get if you cross a snow snowman and a vampire? Dunno. Frostbite. Ugh. Ah, that's a proper crack edge over that, isn't it? Yeah. Who's a Christmas tree's favourite actor? Oh, uh, oh, Spruce Springsteen. That's a singer. Spruce Willis. God damn. You were close. I was close. Yeah. What's, uh, what's white and minty? I don't know. A polo bear. A polo bear, like. Nice. Uh, pala. What do you call a snowman with sunburn? Uh, a puddle. Correct. Yeah. Ching! <laughs> <laughs> nice. A puddle, yeah. Puddle. Love it. Love it. Next. Uh. Why did Santa go to musical school? I don't know. Because he wanted to improve his rap skills. No? He's rapping. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. I know. <clears throat> what you got? Uh, ooh. What, uh, oh, come on, it's got off my screen. There we go. What beats its chest and swings from Christmas cake to Christmas cake? Uh, Tarzipan. Tarzipan. Eh? Tarzipan. Tarzipan. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got there. <laughs> Nearly got there, right? It's close. Uh, yeah. How does a Christmas tree keep its breath fresh? Uh, it eats mints. Oh, ornaments. Ornaments, that's it. Ah. Ah. What, what, what's the most popular Christmas wine? Don't know. I don't like Brussels sprouts. Ah. <laughs> that kind of wine. Ah. One of them. Why? Why are Christmas trees bad at knitting? 
Too many needles. Why was the snowman? Oh, this thing keeps disappearing off my screen, man. Here we go. Why was the snowman looking through the carrots? Looking through the carrots? Yeah. He was picking his nose. Ah. Uh, oh, right, here's one for you then. Hmm? Two snowmen talking. One says to you the Can you smell a carrot? Oh, Jesus. That's that's painful. See, so like an add on to your jokes. Uh, <clears throat> what do you get if you eat a bunch of Christmas decorations? Um, Tinselitis. Tinselitis. Look at that. Tinselitis. Uh, what what a uh, what did the Christmas tree say to the other say to the other lighten up. <laughs> what, what did Santa do when he went speed dating? Um, pulled a cracker. Yeah, uh, put me cracker. Pulled, pulled a cracker. All right, pulled a cracker. Why, why? Uh, what was it? I haven't. I haven't got this one prepared. Uh, why does Why does Santa Claus have lots of affairs? Cause he, cause he knows where all the naughty girls are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I he just does. partially made that up. But he does. Yeah. Uh, how is Doctor Dre like an elf? He spends all his time rapping. Ah, it's a similar to mine. What? Uh, uh, he has, he has, he has a one. I do, I'll do the ending in, in an Irish accent. Are you ready? Right. All right. What did the wise men say after they offered up their gifts of gold and frankincense? Mm. No. Wait, there's more. <laughs> Christ, that's back. That's back in the days of what Frank Carlson. And it, there's more. Wait, there's more. What do? Uh... <laughs> Who is Santa's favorite singer? Oh, I've told you the answer to that one. What? Spruce Springsteen? No. No? Elphis Presley. Ah. Uh, Ooh, uh, um, I got a universal remote con control for Christmas. Mm -hmm. This changes everything. <sighs> What's green covered in tinsel and goes ribbit ribbit? Uh a mistletoe. Toad. Mistletoe, toad, that's it. Mm. Uh, what does a guy with a vasectomy and a Christmas tree have in common? Decorative mm. balls. What? Decorative, Decorative balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in that category. Nice. Decorative uh, balls. Ah, oh, the snip. Yeah. Who delivers presents to sharks at Christmas? Oh. Uh Santa Claus, Santa no. Jaws, Santa Jaws. Yeah, <laughs> here's one. I'm, I'm running. I'm running low here. But uh, I bought an advent calendar for for the Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, behind mm -hmm. every door, someone tells you to piss off. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, there's many a truth said in jest. Yeah. Uh, what was my next I one? Bought, I bought a travel lodge advent calendar. Yeah. It's uh, still got all the chocolates in because I can't open any of the fucking windows. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Right. Right. I get it. Yeah. I get it. You can't open the windows. Yeah. Is your mum going to approve the F word in there? No. She's going to let not. you off. She's going to let no, you off for gonna... Christmas. She's going to tell me Father Christmas is not come to see me because I've been a naughty boy. What do you get if you cross Santa with a duck? Uh, uh, 
quacking, quacking, a Christmas quacking Christmas, quacker. Christmas quacker. That's it. Aye. Yeah. Last oh, night this... I had a dream. Last night I had a dream. I was mm -hmm. stuck in a snow globe. Yeah. It wasn't a nightmare, but I was a bit shaken up. Oh. <sighs> How many letters? Are in the Christmas alphabet. Yeah, uh, twenty-five. Because there's oh. Noel. Noel. <coughs> boom, boom. I'm here all week. Right. Here's a here's a here's a, a bit of uh, safety notification for you. At Christmas, be careful on the roads, because what we find is men like to have a lot more to drink, and therefore their wives are out driving. So be careful. Ooh, that was a that was a twist and a turn in that one, wasn't it? That's a public safety announcement from Santa Claus. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. How did how did Mary and Joseph figure out Jesus' weight? Don't know. They had a, a way in a manger. A way in a manger. I, I I saw one that I didn't think it was sort of appropriate. What did Joseph say to the three kings? Which one's the dad? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe a little bit closer to the, to the truth than we want. Mm. What time is it when an elephant sits on your fence? Sits on your what? Fence. Oh, fence. Right. Time to get a new fence. <laughs> <laughs> and what's an elephant got to do with Christmas? <laughs> I don't know, but these these apparently have appeared in crackers. Oh yeah, at some yeah. point or other. He did too. Yeah. At some point or other. Uh, Who hides uh -huh. in the bakery at Christmas? A mince spy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an oldie. That's an oldie, but a, a mince goodie. spy. A mince yeah. spy. Uh, what do reindeer put in their Christmas trees? No idea. Get it. Ornament. No. No idea. Ah! Dear me. I keep leaving you room to bring these ones back up. Yeah. It, it's ornaments. Yeah. Uh, you, we can't. We can't even. What do you call it? What do you call a deer with no eye? No idea. There you go. Yeah. What's the difference You're between a snowman and a snow woman? Snowballs. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? What uh, do you get if you? What do you get if you? If you? Uh, if you? Uh, <laughs> what, do you what do you get if you tickle a man's snowballs? Don't know. White Christmas. White Christmas. Hey, hey! <laughs> what is four wheels and flies? A uh, bin lorry. A bin lorry. <laughs> flies. I had to read it twice. I was like, flies. Not in oh, Warrington. You mean, you mean flies? <laughs> yeah. Right. Not in Warrington. The buzz. Oh, they're back now. Yeah. Here's the uh, one there. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, this is this is. You'll have heard this one before. The three men that died at Christmas Eve were sent sent to meet uh, Saint Peter at the Pearly Grates, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in honor of the holy season, Peter says you must each possess something that symbolizes Christmas to get into heaven, yeah. So the first man fumbles in his pocket and he pulls out a lighter. He said, he said, and he said it represents a candle. He said. Saint Peter says, "Well done, you can go in." Second man pulls out of his pocket a set of keys and he shakes them and he goes, The bells? He goes, Oh, well done. Third one pulls out a pair of uh, pair of knickers. St. Peter looks at him and he goes, What have they got to do with Christmas? Yeah, and the carols? <laughs> <laughs> like carols. <laughs> nice.
<clears throat> How does Santa keep track of all the fireplaces he's visited? Don't know. Keeps a logbook. Wee. Hey. How does Darth Vader like his Christmas turkey? On the dark side. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course he does. Of course. Of course he does. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it getting so hard to buy advent calendars? <laughs> Their days are numbered. There, yeah, like that one. Aye, thought you might. Uh, you'll probably like this one as well. What happened to the man who stole an advent calendar? He got 25 days. His days are numbered. Yeah? He got 25 days. Oh, he got 25 days. Yeah. What kind of motorcycle does Santa ride? Uh, Holly Davidson. Holly Davidson. Holly Davidson. Aye. Aye. And what athlete is warmest in the Winter Games? A long jumper. Hey. Hey. Nice way to finish them off there. Oh, and who's Rudolph's favourite singer? Beyonce. Oh, class. Beyonce. Beyonce. Aye. I hadn't heard that one before. I hadn't heard that yeah. one. You know, it is these websites and all of their bloody pop-ups. Subscribe to our mailing list. Subscribe to the mailing list. No. No thanks. No thank you. No thank you. What's that? Have we done that 20 odd minutes of jokes? Yeah. Jesus. It's, like it was, it's interesting because obviously we're, we're on a bit of a break next week because of the festive period. Yep. And then um, and then we, we're sort of into the, the New Year episodes, aren't we? Yeah. Now... I've been determined to. Uh, so I was, I was speaking with with Kels. Kelsey wants to come back on, give us an update <clears throat> on uh, on where she's at, talk about the army and all of that kind of stuff. Right, and then I was looking at what episode number we're up to, which is last I looked was sixty seven. And I am determined that even though our we're only doing this one this week, we're not doing next week, but we'll have the week after. And what I would like is when our anniversary comes around, I thought, oh, our, our first episode was published on the 30th of December last year. <clears throat> so it means technically I can start season two because you have to put a season number and an episode number, mm. you know, when you upload these things. Right, I'll start season two after the thirtieth, right? So that would be our last one. So I've been trying to kind of work out: is our last episode going to be number sixty-nine? And can I make sure that it is? <laughs> Dude, exactly, exactly. So what number are we on now? Oh, I think we're on. Oh, we need to do another couple. Oh, we could probably hit it. Bang on sixty-nine. Why not? So I think if it's this one and the next one, 69. <clears throat> 69 episodes. Mind you, you think about it, that's a lot of episodes. And, they, yeah, and an idea that we just sort of had. Oh, yeah. Off the cuff, we've done a lot. And if you look on, um, on Apple, I've been uploading extra bits and pieces on there. It's over 70. So if you look at the little extra clips we've done... Mm. We've also done, what, two or three live shows? Yeah. And you add them into the mix. We're already over 70 in terms of uh, in terms of episodes. We'll, just, I mean, we'll, have to be, we'll have to be a little bit flexible, obviously, because next, after each, um, Christmas Eve week, uh, Sunday, the 24th, the next one's the 31st. We're not doing the 31st because that's New Year's Eve. So mm. we'll just need to be a little bit sort of flexible in terms of what we can uh, manage to fit in. True, true, and I'd be... And then, of course, that means that the actual episode would not be published until... It would definitely be January, wouldn't it? Mm, so, uh, and I'll have a new contract coming up, fingers crossed. So I'll be starting something new, bang on, at the start of January. So I'm going to be busy straight off the bat. So, likelihood is Christmas is going to be sketchy excuse me in terms of episodes although I'll be 
we're still putting some of our old jokes out, the little joke yeah. clips and whatnot on uh, on Instagram and and what have you. Oh, there you go. That looks deeply sus. <laughs> now wearing that wig just like that, I thought. Do I look like an agent Jimmy Savile now? I thought that reminds me of someone's hairdo. Oh, Jesus, that's freaky. That. So like. It's freaky that Mark. Jingle jangle. Yeah. Jewelry. Jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> Dear me. Dear and of course, me. what we should take the opportunity is uh, obviously because this is the last episode for Christmas is to uh, mm. thank everybody for uh, listening to us and subscribing and uh, participating yeah. and all of the positive comments yeah. we've had. Like, yeah, like we've had. Is, you know, we had nearly fifty thousand views on YouTube. We've we've had four hundred and pff, some odd on on Apple. Spotify's had three hundred and summit um, players all together. So I mean, <clears throat> you add it all up, we're over fifty odd thousand views in in this past year in the various different clips mm. and stuff we've done. There's there's tons of in terms of hours there's tons in it admittedly we haven't necessarily stuck to a niche because we started doing a lot of um yeah coaching training mentoring you know making people think about things and whatnot and then we branched out into daft jokes and we've done some fun episodes and <clears throat> we've done some politics and whatnot and andy burnham at the very start, I was looking back at some of our old stuff. And some of that stuff still gets played, so we've tried to both help and entertain across the year, and I think it's been it's been a cool journey. And we've had plenty of interesting comments from people, and uh, I know we've definitely entertained some people, so to me it's felt worth doing over the year. And I've enjoyed doing it and having the chats. And it's actually helped me sort a few things out, just having them out there and having these debates. So I'm, I'm hoping we've done the same for other people. Um, but you're right, I think we need to to thank the number of subscribers we have. It's not in there. It's obviously not in the millions, right? But we do have a loyal following that listen every week. So that in itself is a great thing. I don't know if you <laughs> did you see any of... Uh... I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. And uh, they, they always were taking the mick out of the, the TV station that Nigel Farage works for. What's it called, UK TV? Uh, GB News. GB News. And mm. they, they would come on and they would go, we'd just like to thank Beryl and, and, and Betty for watching uh, consistently over the last year. So thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're two viewers. They're two viewers, yeah. Even though... <laughs> They were bragging the other day, saying, "Do you know, unlike some channels, mean and talk TV, and um, and the like, we're actually uh, we've actually lifted the uh, what do they call it, the veil or, or something? Now they used some daft word, but they're now broadcasting all across Europe, so it's not mm. just GB News in the UK. Yeah, expats and whatnot can watch it anywhere, which has always been true because it's on bloody YouTube, so." You can watch that anywhere, right? It, you even have people in the States watching it, so... I don't know, but they went, Network, we're now available in this many countries. Aye. But if there's one in each country... <laughs> right? That's still only a handful of viewers, but anyway. 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 Anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy yes. New Year. You know what we're like with New Year's resolutions. We don't make them. No, just and, make them um, now. You know, we know New Year's resolutions always start on a Monday. Yeah, there's 52 of them. Yeah, you cannot start on a Wednesday. It's got to be a Monday. Come on. I was, yeah. was going to start my diet January the 1st. I got a Wednesday. I had a cup of nail and I had a fry up. <laughs> and how many calories am I supposed to have on Christmas Day? Well, there's a couple there's of 5, numbers floating around, but one, if you don't have about 7,000 calories, you feel like you've sort of under, under, understated it. It's bonkers, that. So start early in the morning, 
get yeah. your get your breakfast in, get the chocolates yeah. on the go, and yeah. then just keep going and don't stop till you hit that seven thousand. <laughs> seven thousand. That's two three days, man. That, that that's that's definitely a Western thing, isn't it? Jeez. And you don't, you don't you don't want to be around the next day when you get rid of them seven thousand calories. Ooh. Have you got a plunger? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we just need have some have a couple of extra sprouts on your plate just to get up get the flow going nicely. I should call it fibre day, not boxing day, right? That's <clears> it. Aye. Mm. Aye. Right or so we'll see you in about a week during the Christmas week period. I've got to give Kelsey a ring and confirm the booking. See which day she can do. And then we'll uh, we'll work around it. And uh, that'll be out New Year-ish. So it's going to be sketch. Sketch maybe one or two episodes between now and sort of the New Year. But mm. have a good one. I hope Santa brings you something nice. And uh, don't forget, hit the uh, the subscribes and the follows and the likes. All free. Best <laughs> free way to help us get into the algorithm. And until Christmas week... Take care.